the bell. Mama, the too boy. much. What do you mean? I'm How about you, Danny? Should you have it properly perfect? Yes. Not. What? 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 Green. What? Yeah. Right, fire, getting back right? to Ukraine. Um, yeah. Obviously, when you see missiles hitting ta hitting blocks, block, um, tower blocks, mm. um, and houses being blown up and stuff, this is not this is not a war where it's soldiers fighting soldiers anymore. When you start doing things like that, yeah. in this day and age, um, mm. I, this hasn't happened since 1945 to a European country. Um, the only other analogy you could have would be Korean War. But the, the UN now, in my eyes, I think they really should impose a no-fly zone. To, so the, the Ukrainians then, because they have command of the skies, it makes it a lot easier to defend your land. Really? What the hell do you... What's Putin the, anyway? Isn't, how come... He's a nasty dictator. He is a dictator sitting on his little throne trying to, uh, to impose his will on people. I really don't Thank think so. You know. No does the rest of anybody else in the world think so. He thought he would have the Hungarians would back him. They haven't. Nobody's backed him. Even the Chinese abstained. Yeah. They didn't want to know anything about this because, just face it, they just caused the pandemic. They don't need to rub it in even more by going to war with Russia. Really? Yeah. How popular do you want to be? They took. They had too much trade with the West. You take the West away from China and Russia, they're buggered. Yeah, but the thing is, that's the truth of it. How does Russia trade with the West? Well, of course it does. Oh yeah, they're gas. Most of the Russian, the German <laughs> gas, it comes from Russia and the Italians. And have they put sanctions on? Well, they're trying to pretend they have. <laughs> oh, really? No, no, no. But the thing is, yes, yes, we, we, let's pretend, but please don't cut off our gas supply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we pretend with some sanctions. If you're right, don't worry. Don't be Let's keep the gas flowing. Really? <laughs> Back at the gas, it's bigger than gas. This is people getting killed, civilians being yeah. murdered to Ukraine. Yeah. So, no, I really do think that um, the UN should be doing that now. Because it'll take what? It'll the no fly zone. No fly zone, because it'll bring this thing to a halt. Yeah. I think that would be. I think they it's the right thing. Isn't it? No, they, they have not. No. They, all right, they've given them. They've given them lots of ways. Them? They've got the weapon systems, they've got the anti tank missiles and stuff that they give to their soldiers. Because we've given them all those things. And we're doing it right in that right now. They're being resupplied as we talk. Yes. They are. Of course they are. But that's not enough. You're taking on the might of. I, the might of Russia. They got more and everything. There's only so long you can hold out for. This is just And the so only way you could do it is with a no-fly zone. Now, because this thing is wholly, uh, completely illegal, and Europe has said that, it should now be the UN mm -hmm. to step in and have a no-fly oh, yeah. zone. Yep, works. Get this war works. finished with. Because without that, there's no way they could do anything. Yeah. Because the Ukrainian Air Force would have command of the skies and it would just rip that stuff to shreds. All their tanks and everything, they would just blow them to pieces. I'm back. Good. Well, he's so back, back, he's back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, our food is getting ready. <laughs> oh, yes, it's getting there. Why is it low? You put it on 170. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, 100. Well, because we want that yeah. to be crispy. Yeah. What, what have you, what have you got so it on now? Yeah, on max. Oh. Are you crazy? Yeah, put it on there. All right then. 210. All right, we'll go there. We'll go there. Okay. But not there. Max, I'll just burn. Bloody burn. I'm telling you, lassie. Can't be that bad. Come near me. Come wait, wait a minute, so this should be, it should be 7 o'clock and that should be when, it's the last five minutes, Mrs. Beans. Come near me, come near me, come near me, come near me, come near me. Oh, I so love you, darling.
when you're getting old. <laughs> so are you? Oh, I am still getting old at, on April yet. So you already get older. How long do you get older before I do? Um, a year old. Six Dalek. months, isn't it? Something like that. Just a little bit away. So late. <laughs> <laughs> What's grey uh, going on here, folks? <laughs> I know, where's your grey hair? It's coming, don't worry. It's getting greyer every oh, time. Oh yeah, but your moustache is grey. Yeah, that depends my proper right. What? What? Oh. That, I know that. So, but the thing is, uh, going back to what we always say, our motto, the Papa Shag motto, about like, be kind. But don't get caught. <laughs> be kind, you know, because life is very short. So what has really, what is going on? Why do we have to keep on uh, it's be inciting? Very short, it's... What do, why do we have to keep on inciting uh, this kind of thing to shorten lives as it is? What, why do we have to keep on worrying? Especially you know? now, we've got this guy. You already just, had COVID and, well, you know, yes. It, yeah, but we've got no I tell you now, though, this is the truth. In my eyes, I understand why Boris Johnson has taken all the restrictions off and you don't have to send parts of it now at all, even if you have. It's because with everything else that's going to our economy because of this again, there's people being panic buying for fuel because fuel prices in this country are going to go up. Oh my like shortage, you would think that there, if somebody said, oh, there's going to be a shortage, so everybody panic right. No, everybody panic right because it was going to go up. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, why panic buy about that anyway? It's just, it is what it is. It is what it is, yeah. But no, everybody had to have a good old panic buy. So stupid. Anyway, I digress. So what it's going to do to our economy how bad things are in this country right now mm. we've got to have something because we're not going to be able to afford our petrol or our diesel because it's got the the price is going to probably go up to two pence two pounds a litre which means it's diesel there. For the haulage business which delivers every single thing we every single thing we have in this room now has been delivered by a lorry yeah everything even the this even the building stuff itself has been delivered every single yeah. the building itself been delivered by a lorry they run on diesel so when the price of diesel is so expensive those costs are going to have to be handed to the retailers which means they end up with us oh, we... we are not going to be able to afford this folk we are not we're not going to be able to do it people are are just not going to be able to do it the, the, the government is going to have to do something to help us out. They need to pay the, they need to take the tax off fuel, so they can get fuel back to a manageable amount, say one pound ten. We'd all accept that. That's fine. But mm. people just love them. They won't be able to afford stuff though. You got you got now um, food banks. More and more people now are having to use food banks because they can't feed themselves. Will we? Probably going to a bloody food bank. We might. That's uh, something uh, crazy yeah. at the it's, moment. It's difficult. Everything is really, really going up. But there's no reason why they should have put patch on that. Not straight away. Yeah, but the food. That the, the moment. Oh, that, that exactly because of the price of fuel goes. Yes. It's coming up because the haulage companies have to put their prices up because they can't do it for free. Yeah. I they have to put fuel yeah. in their vehicles. If I am in, in a business like that, I cannot, I do. I have to take out from it. Well, of course you have to, you have to factor in the wear and tear your vehicles yeah. and everything. I cannot, Before otherwise, you turn a wheel. otherwise I'll just have to fold my business. Mm -hmm. I cannot. It's all know? delivered by lorry, that's what it, what yeah. it is. And they're not even trying to make a massive profit. Yeah. They let the supermarkets do that. You know, anyway. I know. Uh, gosh. I can't. It's even winter. I cannot imagine those families 
someone out there is really freezing in Ukraine or any other parts of this country. Yeah, and you've got missiles you know, coming over on you. And then there's missiles coming over your head and your I don't you the future is so uncertain for you. I can't it's so sad to think about that. You know, if there are if there are um <laughs> If there are um, refugees flooding this country, we are very happy to offer the one bedroom for yep. any family. That so any family wants to come and stay with us, all the more. Where they have nowhere to stay. It won't cost you a penny. And we don't yeah. worry about food or anything. We've got enough to feed you as well. I know. Simple as that. Won't make any difference to us. We will. That's where we can do our voluntarily. And I would. I do that right now. Like that. And if I could afford to have, to have them fly here, I would if I can't. Mm. Right. You might can do that, you know. But the thing is, we just hope that, you know. It's a shame that there has to be refugees dying. I mean, yeah. this is the thing. This is the thing that shocks me so much. Is that I was talking about that there being refugees coming at Ukraine. What the hell is that about? Yeah. Now you've used to you've used to it in the Middle East. It's part of it. It's been that. Pardon me. Ever since we stuck our nose in, in there as well, with Libya and Syria and all those countries, mm. Iran, Iraq, yeah, Kuwait, all Kuwait, of them. No, Kuwait there. is okay. Yeah, but all the all of those places where, where mm. their cities are completely destroyed. Look at Syria. My yeah. God, it's complete devastation. Now we're looking at that in Ukraine, in Europe. Come on, man, you saw that sort of stuff. This is, this is why when I've been watching it, and you see a car of a vehicle has been blown to pieces and stuff, and what, well, obviously the boat on, and people in it, and now it's just a hole in the ground. Mm. You think, and they, you won't, you're used to seeing that in the Middle East. You are, you kind of get sanitized to it. Your brain kind of just, well, it's just there, it's what happens. It was like when the Vietnam War was on when I grew up. It went on for 14 years. So you kind of get, it's just the norm. You don't even think about there's actual people dying. You don't. Ha, huh. everything <laughs> is done. Hey, everything is done. The roast chicken and everyone's sharing it. The bat is running away, trying to march <laughs> away. <laughs> and here's our, our lovely, Donny in the house and then he's gonna share us this dinner and I'm making up his, his plate so here you go everything is done and uh, hopefully everything is all right with you guys so <clears throat> from the Papa Shog I always say life is very short be so be kind okay bye bye do you want to say goodbye yeah. Donny goodbye <laughs>